Welcome back to Fun Fluencies with Magically Talented. In this episode, we will count tens and ones with coins on a place value chart. We can use this strategy in four easy steps. One, look at the numbers. Two, think and ask how many tens and ones are in the focus number. Three, Count dimes and pennies to correctly represent each number on the place value chart. Four, we will count to check our work. Let's start by reading our letter to find out more about our task. Dear scholars, we will continue to learn more about place value. Use what you know about place value and digits to decompose numbers into tens and ones. In this activity, use dimes and pennies to show tens and ones for each number. Happy counting! Let's take a look at our tools for counting. This is a dime. It is worth 10. Dimes are worth 10 cents. This is a penny. It is worth one. Pennies are worth one cent. We will use dimes and pennies to count on a place value chart. I will model the first one. First, I will look at the number. I see the number 25. Now I'm going to ask myself, how many tens and ones do I need? This is going to help me use the correct number of coins to represent our focus number. I need two tens and five ones. Third, I'm going to place the tens and ones, in our case, dimes and pennies, on the place value chart. I will start in the tens place. One ten, I have two tens. Now let's move over to the ones place. One, two, three, four, and five. That's five pennies. I will count to check my work. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What number did I count to? If you said 25, you are correct. In unit form, we would say two, ten, five. Let's do the next two together. First, let's look at our focus number. What number do you see? If you said 42, you are correct. Next, let's ask ourselves how many tens and ones do we need? Remember, this will help us to use the correct number of coins as we represent the focus number. We will need four tens and two ones. Third, let's place the dimes and pennies or tens and ones on the place value chart. We're going to start in the tens place. Ready? One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. Now let's move on to the ones place. One, two. That's two pennies. Let's count to check our work. Again, we're going to start counting in the tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. What number did we count to? Yes, we counted to 42. And in unit form, we would say four, 10, two. Great job. Let's look at the number. What number do you see? Yes, I also see 73. How many tens and ones are in the number 73? If you said seven tens and three ones, you were correct. Let's place the coins on the place value chart, starting in the tens place. We need one ten, two ten, three ten, four ten, five ten, six ten, seven tens. Now let's go over to the ones place. One, two, and three. Let's count to check our work. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. We counted up to the number 73. And in unit form language, we would say seven, 10, three. Now I want you to try the next two on your own. Take about 30 seconds to complete the place value chart and we will go over your work together.
You have about 10 seconds left. All right, friends, let's go over our work. We see the number 54, so we will need five tens and four ones. Let's see what that looks like on the place value chart. There's our five tens and four ones. Let's count to check our work. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Say it in unit form language. If you said 5, 10, 4, you are. You have about 10 seconds left. All right, let's go over our work. We see the number 67, so we will need six tens and seven ones. Let's see what that looks like on the place value chart. Here are the tens. And here are the ones. Let's count you check our work. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Let's say it in unit form. 6, 10, 7. Great counting today, friends. Did you know counting with coins is a life skill? that will help us to become stronger, fluid, and flexible thinkers. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.